I want people to understand that when I want you to be free, I don't want you to be free to agree to see the world the way I do. I want you to be free to live as you would like to live so long as it doesn't infringe on me and others. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, songs, vibrations, humming, you know, meditation, your hum, you know, that rhythm changes things, you know, and it, 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 it opens your mind, it clears you. Why do you think that each race looks for someone of another race to be their advisor? Because pe I don't think people trust the divinity in themselves. I think I think that once you understand that as human beings, we really only look different because of subtle differences in atmosphere and change and you know who you mix with when. But I think that all those books that our moms paid over us to, to sell us of self-help and inward looking, Reverend Ike had told my grandmother's generation that in the 70s, you know what I mean? And I think that we're scared to turn off the lights and at some point see something divine within ourselves. Because once you do that, that requires you act differently. And I think that people need to be told what to do. Not that they actually need it, but they want to be instructed, you know, versus knowing or going on a gut feeling or experimenting and getting something wrong. So I think that a lot of times we're afraid to see that divinity in ourselves also because then you have to acknowledge the darkness. You have